Exemplification theory. First, let's talk about exemplars, which are the basis for the exemplification theory. Exemplars are examples, instances of something in the mind or a member of a category. Let's take the example of Jill asking Billy about sports that require a ball. Whenever Billy answers, his ideas come from the clouds or categories in his mind that show how we perceive and categorize the world around us based on the influential connecting things in our life. Based on what he's been exposed to, Billy will probably answer with football, soccer, basketball, baseball, and volleyball. But then there is also lacrosse, softball, water polo, tennis, and golf. These clouds are constantly updating as we experience and are influenced by more, much like the iPhone. Due to these updates, a child at two could see a ball as a chew toy, six-year-olds, eights, t-balls, ten-year-olds, I'm part of Little League, and fourteen, an athlete. The first five came to Billy's mind because they are prototypical to him. Prototypical comes from the prototype theory, where some ideas can be more central than others. They're the first thing you go to, like a cup of coffee in the morning. The final key to this theory is how concrete examples like first-hand experiences will be more powerful than abstract ones like statistics and will not decay like most memory traces. So here it is, the exemplification theory made up of exemplars, clouds, prototypical ideas, and the power of concrete examples. Mm -hmm.